What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Savoy, and we're back to start the final Savoy album I haven't reacted to, though it is not the most recent. Indeed, I did already react to Under, but we're going to start going through See the Beauty in Your Drab Hometown, a phrase I really enjoy. There's a bit of comedy to it, but <clears throat> I think it can also be seen as a very profound type of sentiment, and perhaps as the central premise of the holiday film It's a Wonderful Life. Nevertheless, the idea of finding beauty in something that could be seen as mundane, even something holding you back, you often hear an expression like, I'm going to shake the dust of this town off and go out and see the world, but this is the reverse of that. This is the idea that even if this is unimpressive to some people's eyes, even if it feels like I've been stuck here, even if there's more normality here than exception, than something exotic, it can still be very wonderful and indeed beautiful. So I like the sentiment of the title right out of the gate. Once again, shout out to Graham for sharing all the Savoy material. And he did actually provide some credits. And I do believe there is a different drummer on this track. And the next track, I believe the name is Carl. So yes, ultimately shout out to Graham for providing the materials and some extra information. And the first tune on this album, 2018, is Night Watch, which can take different forms. I think in most contexts it refers to a civic or community-based, not law enforcement, but a group or an organization that makes sure that nothing untoward is happening in the town, making sure that at nighttime when things are darker and perhaps crime is more possible because of the obscurity of night, when they're making sure that nothing inappropriate or indeed illegal is happening. So it's sort of like a community watch type of concept. Now, again, there are more formal usages of that word, but I'm not necessarily privy to how it, they, or they or it might be relevant here. I can't even speak straight. Let me listen to the song. This is Night Watch by Savoy from the 2018 album See the beauty in your drab hometown from 
synthetic geese. Mixed with the fibers taking over the tube. Double-time bass. I like how even the melody is distorted or electronified in the way that that rolling deep layer is. Baseline, which has been underneath it all the whole time, almost like speed garage. And then it's just done. Is that really it? That is really it. Uh, wow. So yeah, a really cool tune that seems to mix more of an electronic layer into their sound. Not that they haven't had tunes with synths or some measure of that late 90s, early 2000s, rock meets electronica type of sound, but this one felt like it leaned heavier into the electronic domain than most of the previous tunes I've heard from them. I did like that, again, like computer virus type, it, was all, it wasn't a pad, it was, you know, sort of a, a bass line, I guess, but it was just rolling over the track, which Nightwatch, maybe in some way you can take that as the the dark sound of night which is an unknown and therefore it's different from things you can see clearly in the day. Lyrically, I'm not sure what's happening, but a lot of the lines seem to present contrast for potential or possibility and reality and actuality in a way that was perhaps, if not a disappointment, something that was less than could have been or something more mundane than might have been. The idea of, what was it, better luck next year, kid, I think was the line. So it feels like there was a contrast in terms of what could have happened or what did happen, but maybe on some level that could be seen as a dichotomy like day and night. I do believe we had overt reference to a night watch and footsteps receding away and ring the bell, flip the switch. So again, light and dark, night and day. I'm not sure how it all ties together, but I did get a, a visual sense from some of the lines, and then some of the others had sort of this conceptual dichotomy. So, yeah, I enjoyed Paul's voice on this one a great deal. Those snare flourishes at the, the last bar of each measure, I really enjoyed that. I would have thought it would be drum machine, but given that there's a drum credit on this one, I guess those were natural drums. And as I said, there was some cool stuff going on in the lower end of the track, not just that rolling synth distorted bass, but also the like proper bass line, which had this deep, I mentioned Speed Garage, it's sort of like a kind of house that was popular in the 90s, but yeah, this deep, what's the right word, resonant, I guess, bass line that, again, I think at the end of each measure would go into this double time, like double quick type of rhythm, so I really enjoyed that element in particular. And those sections, which I don't know if it was like the post-chorus pre-verse like interlude but it was this really soaring type of sound and the guitar had almost this cosmic looking into the night sky with stars type of feel so I don't know if any of that is meant on a conceptual level but it really was an evocative tune sonically is I guess the point I'm driving at. Luca's looking at me like yeah go on go on I'm listening not all that interestedly so yeah, I'll wrap this up, but a very cool opener for the album. Looking forward to the rest of the record. Do let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Peace.